Okay, basically all we're doing here is really simple to get the white makeup skin effect. Um, other colors are really easy because for some reason uh, white is difficult, more difficult to get. I mean, for some people, I'm sure it's very easy, but for me, um, I had trouble finding how to get this done and uh, a lot of tutorials uh, here and there, but uh, I did this one on accident and it's actually pretty basic and pretty simple. I won't waste much of your time, I promise. Um, so we're just gonna import the original layer of Keith Richards here. We're gonna duplicate that layer and uh, just click okay. Um, we can just call uh, rename it black and white. All right, and um, we're gonna go ahead and turn it to black and white, go to image adjustments and then black and white I'm gonna to try to go for a lighter color of the skin so uh, this version of Photoshop allows us to um, play around with the different black and white settings as you see I am trying to get a lighter color to the uh, face and that's all we're concerned about is the color of the face everything else a hat uh, the clothing the hair uh, we don't care about at this point because we're gonna get rid of it so there we go um, and when you're satisfied, just go ahead and click OK. So that looks good enough. It's, a, it's kind of a white. Um, now we're going to isolate just the skin and hair part, or basically just the skin at this point. Um, so I'm going to select that and then select inverse and then delete and deselect. And now I'm just going to basically erase uh, the rest that I don't want. Uh, so I'm going to pull up my eraser tool, use the default. Um, uh, circular uh, erasing uh, brush with the soft edges that will work best and uh, let's just start going erasing around the um, the other black and white parts we don't want or we could do some of the ear uh, it doesn't matter this is just gonna be a quick tutorial uh, and uh, the great thing is that we don't have to be perfect at this point you can take your time and really be detailed about it that's fine um, but for now uh, I'm just gonna show you how to get there so and I think we pretty much got pretty much most of that erased around uh, skin, at least some on the ears, because in reality, sometimes we don't get all the makeup on our face. Let me go ahead and erase some of that hair right there, maybe to the sides. Okay, um, so as you can see, the uh, skin does look, starting to look white. Now, when you start to add more of the other effects, uh, you'll see... Um, it'll come into uh, play here. So I'm going to do the eyes now and going to zoom in. I'm going to reduce the size of my brush pen and we're going to erase some black and white around the eyes a little bit, kind of keep that realistic. Pretty simple, huh? Okay, now I believe, what did I do? A linear burn? No, I did not. No, that's for the coloring. So we're just going to keep it normal. Um, create one more layer uh, that will be the linear burn you can use different blend modes but I like the linear burn for some right linear light excuse me and uh, that's pretty much it we just start painting um, we can start with the lips we'll just go ahead and click uh, pick a red um, open a brush turn the opacity down because you don't want to start up too strong and just start painting around the lips oops it would help if I picked an actual brush and not the eraser. Same thing, same type of brush, default, uh, soft ground. And just go ahead and take the opacity, turn it down, and just start painting over his lips. Um, it'll be up to you how you want to adjust the uh, different colors. But look, it's already starting to come to fruition. Um, it's pretty much that simple. I mean, you are going to adjust your own different uh, coloring levels, but... As you see, the face actually is starting to look like real white makeup because when you start to apply uh, this different stuff here, you know, you can actually you know change the different uh, levels on it. And uh, we can go for the uh, eyes now, pick a blue, you know, play around with our brush settings, go back to our layer here, and uh, just start messing around. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change up the different filters until I get the one I like. Linear burn, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> Sorry about that. And we'll go ahead and just do some painting. You know, I'll turn up the opacity more to 100%. There we go. Now it's starting to come to fruition. 
I mean, each one's going to be a little bit different, you know, because we have different versions of the Joker. And, uh, so we like to keep it. So I'm going to reduce the size of my right there. Maybe add a little bit more darker red to the lips. But as you see, um, pretty simple. And uh, once you start adding, adding more color to uh, the face, it actually starts to, per se, trick the eye. And it starts to look like real white makeup. And that's basically what this tutorial is about. Not about the artistic part. Uh, that part is really easy. As you can see, I'm just basically taking my brush over parts of the hair and uh, the other parts of the eyes and creating my extra parts, green hair, stuff like that. So it looks actually pretty cool. It looks like he has actual white makeup on his face. Now again, um, you're going to want to play around with the black and white levels. Uh, there's different stuff in there you can play around with too to get a different tone of white. Um, but I just wanted to show everybody how simple it is to create uh, the black, the white makeup effect on faces, uh, which can be a lot harder than regular colors because, you know, the regular colors you can play around with. But if you want to just get white over skin, you have to use uh, like a black and white first and then the a correct filter uh, for it. So um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.